So I've been interested in Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome for almost 20 years now. And I started off uh, by trying to understand what caused the condition. So I've been interested in the research aspects of it. But I've also seen many patients with Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome and their families. And in addition, have expanded my practice to include other overgrowth syndromes. So the risk of cancer for children with BWS um, is approximately 7.5%. Um, the risk varies from one study to another from 4% to 21%. And the other thing that's really important to remember is that the risk varies with the age of the child. So the peak risk is in the first um, few years of life and then the risk drops off. The other thing about the risk of cancer is that it varies also with the molecular change um, that occurs in that particular child. So some changes are associated with a higher risk and a risk for specific tumors, whereas others, um, other children have a lower risk. But for all children, the risk is above that for the general population and therefore tumor surveillance is indicated for all children with this diagnosis. So the screening protocol for cancer surveillance in BWS um, involves ultrasound screening and uh, blood testing for alpha fetoprotein for early detection of hepatoblastoma. The abdominal ultrasound will pick up uh, Wilms tumor and other tumors that occur in the intra-abdominal organs. Um, what's really important is that the frequency of ultrasounds be maintained um, so that a tumor can be picked up early. And that is mostly so that tumors can be treated early enough that normal tissue can be rescued and that the uh, size of the tumor doesn't overtake the, the normal tissue. The interval of screening varies from one center to another. In our center, it's a three-month interval, although four-month intervals and even six-month intervals are um, reported by other groups. The treatments for BWS are really very specific to each child, and uh, these may include treatment for early issues such as low blood sugar, or treatment for an enlarged tongue, which may either be allowed to evolve over time and be accommodated in the mouth. Some children uh, will require surgical repair of the tongue. Um, other treatments in are targeted to tumors that arise, and that is very specific to the tumor um, that's in that child. Uh, one other treatment that occurs in some cases of BWS relates to asymmetry and leg length difference, and sometimes children can have um, closure of a growth plate in order for the longer leg to be the same length as the shorter leg at the end of the growth period. Low blood sugar usually occurs in the first few days of life. It's rare that it occurs beyond that age. Um, and it's treated with supplementation with glucose or sugar. Um, and parents should be aware of what the symptoms are so that if a child is sent home from the nursery early on and the symptoms develop afterwards, uh, that can be remedied. The child can be taken to a physician. The two most common tumors are Wilms tumor and hepatoblastoma. Um, hepatoblastoma actually occurs in all the molecular subgroups of BWS, whereas Wilms tumor is found in only a subset of children that carry um, changes involving the distal domain on chromosome 11. There are a number of other tumors, such as neuroblastoma or rhabdomyosarcoma, but these are more rare. The risk of recurrence of Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome is 
generally low, except in certain circumstances. And these situations where there is an increased risk of recurrence above that in the general population includes a CDKN1C mutation um, or a karyotype abnormality or an abnormality in the DNA sequence itself which we can pick up by specific tests. Clearly if there's more than one affected in the individual in the family, um, the family already knows that the risk of recurrence is significant. It's been a very valuable experience for me both professionally and personally to work with families who have children with Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome. Um, these families have contributed enormously to the advance in the knowledge um, about Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome and also other uh, genetic conditions or epigenetic conditions. Uh, I really look forward to working with the BWS families in the future to further our knowledge even more and to share uh, the knowledge from the academic and from the community perspectives.